your girl royalty and today we are making a video i'm new to the youtube game but it's something i've been wanting to do so i hope you welcome me with open arms <laughs> um so today i wanted to talk about um a few life lessons that i've learned through my life and as i'm learning my lessons and i'm progressing and i'm on the path to success i'm on the path to righteousness and holiness I want to just bring people along with me. I know it seems like a cliche topic sometimes talking about growth and healing and being vulnerable when speaking about these things, but at the end of the day, it's what's necessary and needed to move forward. Um, and mainly what I wanted to focus on with this conversation here is the fact that knowing what's wrong and not doing anything about it is not okay. And knowing what's, what's right or the right thing to do and still not acting on that is not okay. I fell victim to this a million times. To be honest, I'm in the process of recovering from that. Um, and I, I'm i praying every step of the way. Um, to be honest, strength looks different on everybody. You know, so it takes a lot of courage and strength to break your norm. So if you're in that norm of depression right now, or if you're in that, and whatever your toxic norm is, the point is you need to bust that bubble so you can embrace yourself. Um, I was a person that used to try to make excuses. I used to feel woke or whatever. And to be honest, you're just really knowledgeable. Like being woke is just being knowledgeable. You're aware of what's wrong with you. You're aware of what's wrong with others, but that's not enough. You have to be willing to deal with it, I've learned. And I'm in the process of dealing with it and I always encourage other people to deal with what's wrong with you. Otherwise, evil will play on it. So whether it's the devil working through people or that's just a demonic, evil, toxic person that just like that aspect of themselves, the point is they will play on it. Narcissistic people will play on it. People will use the shit out of you. I mean, we're all here to be used but not misused. And I'm learning to embrace that myself. And when you move accordingly as well, it helps you keep yourself in check and keep your standards in check. So when people come to you with, with stuff below your standards, you can check that. And I'm embracing the hell out of that. Like for the first time in my life, I am happily single. I've been a person that always wanted to be in a relationship. I've always been a person that didn't want to be alone. Like I just always yearned for companionship, especially because you know, childhood definitely play a major role when it comes to your growth, when it comes to how you handle adulthood in general. So if the way you handle it is to just complain and not do anything about your circumstances, then you you learned that from somewhere. And you have to figure out where you learned it, then unlearn it, then learn something better that's actually working. And I would advise you learn from somebody that is actually working out for. So that's why I, I'm i in the process, but I'm not no guru. So I'm the, we could call me like the middle person for right now. Because I don't talk about things as if I've already achieved and conquered and got over all these hurdles because I'm in the process. I've noticed that when people are in the process of growing, learning, healing, um, and whether it's by themselves or in a relationship or with God, and God should be in all these relationships, by the way, but, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I lost my train of thought, hold on. All right, guys, so we back in tech and we back on track. So I noticed with, with all these different processes and journeys that we have to go on when it, as far as growth, when we don't want to be stagnant is that people be fronting people act like during this process it's just like you know army theme music i just grunt and got through it they're not showing you the, the the weakest moments they're not showing you the tears they're not telling you about when you're vulnerable they're not telling you about when you have no else to go with your emotions what to do with it or when you're feeling stupid while you're you're praying and you're calling on God and how people make fun of you sometimes for how you, you personally just deal or have your relationship with God and how you choose to get over things and get through things. And that's what you, you should also always be doing. Like you should always be getting through it and getting over it or else all you're doing is being stagnant. And if you have people around you that help you stay stagnant, you might want to check that. I've been definitely putting a lot of people in my life 
on notice. I don't have time or room in my life for pointless relationships. And of course there's backlash from it, but what the, what the hell are you gonna tell me? Like, okay, how dare you want more for your life and out of this friendship that I obviously can't fucking provide. Da, like, okay, like I'm giving you a chance to work on you while I work on me and that can work for any type of relationship. Now, what I do need to freaking work on is, to me, I don't know if I'm built to work at nobody's job. Everything else be working out good, but when it comes to be working at people's jobs, like, it's just like, I, yeah, like, I want it to work out, but it just don't, like, me in attendance, like, I don't, I don't fucking know. Like, I think I'm built to be an entrepreneur, and, I, and I'm calling it. I'm built to be an entrepreneur, and I'm a good-ass one, too. Dead ass. But I definitely veered off track. Um, Doing what's right. Yeah. So, knowing what's right and not doing what's right. That definitely can't freaking work. And that means you're not a person of your freaking word. And that, I beat myself up a lot about that. And I would advise... Don't beat yourself up and don't beat your damn friends up either too. Like get a therapist, like don't make your friends a therapist. And I've been learning to do that, but since I ain't got money for the therapist right now, which is not a good excuse either. Um, yeah, I kind of just been keeping it between me and God. <laughs> but also too, with the process of filtering your friends and filtering out who's the best person for you or who's not worthy of your uh, access or attention, like, you have to pour it out somewhere and crying is cleansing so if you if you cry a lot congratulations you're a fucking warrior we're out here okay i cry a whole lot and you know i'm not ashamed of it either people always want to act like oh you're so emotional it's okay i don't hide my emotions you hide yours so that way i can get over my shit and i can do whatever needs to be done and i'm also learning to stop letting my emotions get in the way of what i need to do at the end of the day i have an assignment i have a mission on my life that i need to accomplish and i'm not letting that get in my way no more i don't care whether it's friendship relationship work ship whatever ship i don't give a ship like that's all i'm saying <laughs> All I'm focused on is what God purposed me to do. And I'm going to be real transparent and say I don't have the clearest picture. But I'm just going to trust the process and I'm going to faith it till I make it. I don't fake it, but I'm going to faith it. Feel me? <laughs> but yeah, being wise and being knowledgeable is two different things. Um, when you're knowledgeable, you just know what's right. And being wise is knowing what's right and acting with that information in mind and making wise decisions. Um, well, you can't really say wise decisions when you're just fucking wise, but, but whatever, you know what I need. So if, if you know what's, and that actually makes it worse. See, it hit different when you don't know. So when you don't know and you don't know that you don't know, then it's kind of like you, you get a little bit of leeway as far as excuses excuses really don't cut it in this world but people will still give you excuses but excuses still come with consequences so don't think just because someone is just like well that's understandable you will still catch the consequence for that understandable offense <laughs> seriously i i'm like the walking example but because <laughs> one thing every motherfucker got is an asshole and a good ass reason and i'm learning that and you know, when you're doing it to other people, when you're doing it in the world, you don't really see it. But when it starts to come back to you and people start doing it, it's like, wait, what the? The best thing to do in these times is to reflect on yourself. People love playing victim. I'm not a big fan of playing victim. I used to like to express myself to people because I feel like I don't really have people to talk to. So when I want to vent, I would just call people to see, you know what I'm saying, who cared to listen. And at the end of the day, I realized that's not even beneficial. Like, I'm wasting my own time. I'm wasting other people's time. Especially if these people aren't qualified to help me. That's what I learned. I ain't got... And then that taught me, too. I had to level up as far as my quality of friends. I can't call these motherfuckers to put me in position nowhere. Help me network with something. Help me learn something. Put me... Like, I'm not with the whole let's hit each other up. So we can always be available to spend money and stay broke and be in our feelings and be negative about shit. Like, I don't have time for negative energy. I'm already fighting off 
the the negativity inside of my subconscious like this is 22 years worth of negativity that i have to work the hell off i don't need nobody adding to that and also to friends that respect your boundaries people around you friends family whatever make sure that they respect your boundaries if you say i don't like this topic because it tends to be triggering stop doing that i do have a fr listen i don't even know where to go with this topic the point is do what the hell is right. When you know what is right, do what is right. And if you ain't doing what you know is right, that's probably why your ass is depressed. And that's probably, no, that's most definitely why my ass was recently depressed. So I'm telling you, when you start doing what you know you're supposed to do, you start to feel better. This is a part of me feeling better because I know I'm supposed to help people feel better. I know that's a part of my job, part of my mission in life. I already know it. Okay, okay, maybe I do got a little idea on, on, on my purpose. But yeah, <laughs> but make sure you keep your head up, um, keep going. Even if you're crawling through it, crying through it, whatever, just keep moving. Even if it's slow motion, whatever, slow motion better than no motion. Okay, and I learned that from somebody else. I forgot who quote that is, but thank you, my boy, you know? Um, and yeah, everyone's strength look different. It don't matter how yours look. The point is just keep pushing. And just because, and, and check on them strong people in your life. The motherfuckers that sound like me right now, that stay motivated, everybody keeping everybody going, make sure they, that you, that person for them when, you know what I'm saying, when you feel like they might need it. And to be honest, you never know. Me being a person that love being like that motivator for people, pushing people, you know what I'm saying, past their limits or helping them get up out of whatever pit they in, making sure they have a ladder or whatever, giving whatever resources I can find or know about or whatever. I personally don't have that. I offer that, but I don't have that, which lets me know I need to reevaluate my surroundings, my circle. And that's why I'm going to embrace just being by myself and not letting nobody in no more. And I'm tired of people just trying to soak up your energy, soak up your sauce and just, you know what I'm saying? Try to use it as a weapon on you. Like, hold on, honey. You, you know what, I'm gonna save some of this, okay? Just make sure we, we doing what's right, okay? I gotta hold myself accountable too. Tiana, I ain't even playing with you. Get right, that's for me. I'm Tiana, hi. <laughs> you know, I'm royalty too, but Tiana, get right. That's how you need to be talking to yourself. Whoever, get right. Cause the pit I'm in, I can't even afford to get left. So I need to get right, <laughs> seriously. But obviously, I'm having a whole lot of fun with this, so um, I think I might make another one, too. I'm glad you guys were able to listen. I definitely dropped a few gems here. Um, if you feel like I could do a better job at doing so or there's a specific way that I should approach the topic a little bit better or any questions or points that you feel like I should touch on, definitely help me out. I'm definitely open to learning from you guys so you can help me grow because... Listen, I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. Okay? See y'all later.